fish. Old-timer Roscoe Max was a youngster back in those days, but he knows the story of Radicanan's search for the perfect spot to put a town. So they, they come over here, he, he brought them right up here, and, he, and Charlie said, this is the place right here. So Pelican started right here. But what was it about this particular spot? Pelican's engineer, Tom Whitmarsh, says Radicanan had three criteria for his new town. One of them was uh, a good supply of water, and one of them was a good deep harbor for, for getting boats in and out. And the third one was a hydropower site. And so they looked around for a hydropower site and picked Pelican Creek. And it's uh, pretty much an ideal site for what they had in mind. Later that year, members of the fish co-op built Pelican Dam. The dam and the power system are still operating today. And so are the boardwalks that give Pelican its unique look. They also offer visitors a one-of-a-kind setting for a stroll along the harbor. But with all its small town charm and natural beauty, there is one thing you will never see in Pelican, and that's a pelican. In fact, just about the only pelican you'll see in town is on top of the memorial here. Because in fact, the town of Pelican was not named after the bird, it was named after another type of early visitor here. Pelican um, was named after a boat, his, his packer, what we call packers carry fish, you know, from Sitka to from here. The town with the unusual name prospered on the shores of Lisiansky Inlet, processing some of the freshest fish and sending it to a hungry world. Roscoe Max's father was in the thick of things. Dad was an expert uh, sp uh, splitter. He, he cut fish and filleted them out, you know, with one swipe and then another swipe, and, and they had two fillets. And they salted them down, and they made locks out of them. So um, they took them over around Chicago or someplace. What was Pelican like in the early days? Vicki Max calls moving to Pelican in the 1950s one of the greatest adventures of her life. First thing I heard when you, when I moved to Pelican was one of the few girls my age. I was 11 at the time. Said she was 10, and she said. Oh, wait till you, the 4th of July. She said, it's better than Christmas. 3rd of July dance, and then they had the big parade and games on the beach and a picnic on the beach. The 4th of July celebration has died down some in recent years, but people here are reviving that tradition. In Pelican, Kirk Chason, Inside Alaska.